Hi everyone, this is a miniature Phalaenopsis orchid that I purchased from Trader Joe's a month ago. It actually came in two plant, um, but one of them has died since because that one had very poor root system and I put that one in full water culture. Um, it was growing me a new leaf, um, but it lost pretty much all its roots. Um, so it didn't, it never really recover from it. Um, so I lost that one. This one, however, was potted in the media. And at the time I was testing out grow stone. So I actually potted it in pure grow stone media in this very same clay pot. Uh, however, it actually, um, that method continued to rot the roots for this particular orchid. So, uh, so it was dehydrated due to uh, root root loss. So you can see this these the, the two bigger original leaves are droopy and they never recover from <laughs> um, loss of uh, hydration. And that's a characteristic of Phalaenopsis in my experience. Um, once you once it's too dehydrated, the leaves never really plumb back up completely, fully. Um, at the initial stage, you may be able to salvage it. You may be able to um, give it, hydrate it, and then it'll plumb back up. But if it's too far, um, you know, if the dehydration is actually more uh, extensive, in this case, this one, you know, it was a little too extensive. So you actually never, the leaf never actually can, you know, perk up. But, um, the reason I'm doing this video is to let you know my uh, assumption about why, um, or, or tell you the reason why I actually repotted this one out of grow stone, and now it's in the moss and lava rock mixture. Uh, lava rock being about 60%, and then um, sphagnum moss, 40%. And I also chopped the sphagnum moss really really finely and then mix with lava rocks and then only pot pot this orchid up very very loosely t lightly um because my my hypothesis is that even though la um sorry grow stone is very water retain it is water retentive and it, but it's also providing aeration but i really think that i made, made a mistake of um over over potting it because this pot is probably too big, right? With all the grow stone media, I think it, it was just too much moisture. Um, this is not to say grow stone is not good because I actually think it could be good for Cattleya um, type of orchid um, where you mix grow stone with um, maybe lava rocks, you know, I can see the value of that, but, you know, I think I want to do another experiment. I want to purchase the same type of orchid and then, you know, pot it up in pure um, grow stone and maybe um, underpot it, under -pot it just to see if um, it would rot the root. Because I don't know. I mean, at first I thought grow stone would do would would, would be really ideal, um, but it's not the case for this particular orchid. Now, it's giving me another new leaf, which I'm really happy about, and it's also giving me a new root. And this root is actually growing into the media, so it's actually really good. It's been eight months ago. Um, it's been eight months since I purchased this orchid, and this orchid has gone through a lot. But because springtime is here, so it's growing me one new leaf and at least one root that I can see. So hopefully, this one will continue to to grow better. Um, Cause it, you know it's part of the experiment. So it actually underwent quite a lot of different, you know, like stress, I guess. Um, but
but I'll keep you posted on the progress of this particular orchid. And then um, I will try to do another experiment with growth stone and share with you um, the outcome or my, my opinion about using pure growth stone media for Phalaenopsis orchid. All right, until then, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Ciao.